Hey there, good morning and welcome to Prog Monster. My name is Murph, I am the host of this show. A show that's dedicated to progressive rock, hard rock, heavy metal and other forms of rock music. So I'm back after a week's holidays. Um, not a particularly great week. Uh, I had plans to do a lot of stuff but I was sick and couldn't do very much really. So kind of what they would call a wasted week. Might as well have just done some videos. Anyways, we're back here today to do um, <clears throat> an episode of this week. So this is actually week number 17, which falls between November 5th through to, uh, sorry, is this November 5th or 6th? This is actually the 6th, I apologize. So it's November 6th through to November the 12th. So all the shows that will take place in that period will be taken care of on this show today. Uh, for those of you who have followed this show, you know that pretty much what I'm going to do is talk about the content on this channel, what shows are up and coming, what I'm going to be doing with each of these shows. I think it's a pretty interesting week for me, um, having had a so-called rest, which I really haven't. I'm um, just going to fix my clothing here. I'm looking like a bum. So uh, anyway, so <clears throat> normally what I do is I go through each show and just give you a little bit of a preview of what's going to happen. So I wasn't able to do <clears throat> Ben's album challenge on the Sunday last week because I was just too sick, um, unable to even focus and enough to even do anything. I did try to do this week last week just to let people know I wouldn't be here. I was really out of it. I don't even know half of the stuff I said. So anyways we're back today to do this week uh episode number 17 november 6th to 12th uh the first show of the week will be ben's album challenge which will come out tonight uh we're going to be doing an album that he suggested of course because that's how this the format works um the album he suggested was msg's msg album their debut album which featured, uh, which is, for those of you who don't know, the Michael Schenker group. Um, this is new to me. I've never listened to any Michael Schenker, at least not in the MSG. I have heard some UFO stuff. I have heard some Scorpion stuff, but I, I am not as familiar with this whole area of music as, um, as I probably should be. But uh, anyways, I've listened to the album three or four times. I'm going to give a... a review on it tonight on Ben's album challenge so um, hopefully people will find that interesting uh, the album was interesting to me so um, I'm looking forward to doing that okay so the second uh, episode of the week will come on the Monday night and I just want to get my prop for that because I put it underneath this other one so we'll be doing this album Pink Floyd's Wish You Were Here album okay this is currently in my playlist by the way um, and um, the funny part about the album is that it was new to me I just got it I've never owned the album I didn't really actually know too much about it other than I knew that it had a couple tracks on it that I was familiar with turns out I'm familiar with every track on it <laughs> uh, uh, familiar to the point of it won't last very long on my playlist because a lot of the songs I've heard so many times it's a good, great album, but it's just that I've, you know, I've probably burned out most of these songs, so it's not going to last very long, but super great album. So we'll be doing a look back at a classic rock album on that one tonight, uh, for Monday, I mean. Um, for Wednesday, I finally got the final album for this collection. Um... I'd actually been looking for it for a while. I, I, I've actually seen it, but for whatever reason, I wasn't able to get it. And then I decided to get it um, on Saturday when it was out. And so now we're going to be doing the ranking of this group, Led Zeppelin. We'll be doing the Led Zeppelin ranking. Uh, one of the probably considered the greatest rock band of all time not my personal favorite but um, I recognize that a lot of for a lot of people this is indeed the, the view so there are nine studio albums in um, the Led Zeppelin catalog 
catalog and we'll be uh, ranking them from least to most uh, favorite. There's not a lot of difference, especially in the top six albums here. I think they're like splitting hairs kind of might be a term that you could apply to this. Um, <clears throat> the one album, Physical Graffiti, is currently in my playlist. It's an album I've never owned in the past. I, I was familiar with some of the tracks, but not all of them. And so it might not finish as high as people might expect it to finish. At a given time, I'm sure it'll move up. And anyway, so we'll be doing the top 10 albums, ranking the top, sorry, let's start again. I'll be ranking the albums of Led Zeppelin from worst to best. And uh, this be basically just the studio albums too. So that will come on Wednesday night favorites this week. Um, for the Friday Night Live experience, I've decided to go with a band. Um, I was actually trying to decide about what album to do and then uh, I was out somewhere and I saw something and then when I came home I saw some videos for this same band and then I saw an interview with one of the members and I thought, you know what, I, I used to really be into these guys when I was in my teens. I played them a lot. They were one of my top 10 bands for sure and then they just over time just gradually faded away and I'd forgotten about them quite a bit and I don't think this is unusual but they're a Canadian band <clears throat> from the East Coast at least the main guy is the bands out of Montreal we're talking about April Wine we'll be doing a live video um, the video concert of the, of the April Wine we'll be doing that for Friday night and uh, talking about that uh, one of the hard rockin' bands from the um, Canadian genre, the speech from the 70s and 80s. Not too many bands above them in my eyes at that time period. Uh, triple Guitar Attack, all three guys playing lead. Just such a great band and a fantastic drummer as well and bass player. So we'll be doing April Wine for Friday Night Live Experience. Then I'm going to talk a little bit <coughs> At some point this week, I'm going to do a video talking about this new show that I plan to do starting... I'm not really even sure when I'm going to start it. Um, I have to go through my planning stage and see how that's going to take, how much time that takes, and how I want to present this. It's going to be called Rock Legends, which will be just featuring <clears throat> a particular rock legend for the week. Um, there may be multiple episodes on the same guy. In fact, I'm almost sure the first guy is going to have at least three episodes on him, continuous episodes about. Um, and we'll, and I'll basically, I'm not going. It's not going to be a history lesson because <coughs> I don't really want to get into the history of somebody. It's, it's somewhat subjective, and I don't really like that. So, but I will talk about their music, um, maybe about the songs they wrote, the albums they were on, the groups they were with how they did in their solo careers, um, the albums in their solo careers, the music they played in that, you know, how many different bands they were in, what they're currently doing, that kind of stuff, you know. Just wanted to give some love to some musicians that I really like quite a bit. And therefore, we'll be starting that. When, when I'm ready to start it, I'll announce it, but um, I'm just gonna go through a little bit on it for uh, one episode, just a kind of an introduction episode, I guess you might want to call it. The last thing I'm going to do for the week, um, and it might ne not necessarily be the last thing literally that I do that week, but it might be somewhere during the week. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to throw it in. It's just going to be a one-off show on my playlist. Some people have asked me about my playlist, how do you, how do you work that? And, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what albums are currently on my playlist, where how, how my playlist works, what what if any importance it is to the music that I'm doing here, um, <clears throat> why I do it the way I do it, all that different stuff, just so people can see how my mind, I just want them to see how my mind works a bit more and um, and how these things help me and and they do they do help me quite a bit. So we'll be doing a, a, a video on my playlist this week. So what else do we have coming up? So the other thing is I may do um, 
at some point when I'm talking about the rock legends, I will probably include a bit of a discussion about my upcoming series that I'll be starting in December. I decide not to do one this month uh, because the next one's going to take a little bit of prep and we'll be talking a bit about what it is I plan to do. Just off the charts I will tell you that it's going to be based on uh, progressive rock albums from the 1980s. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work but I suspect it'll be like a one album from each of the bands. It won't be multiple albums from one band because that would be easy to do and it'll be albums I've never heard before. That's the thing that I want to do. I want to know, <clears throat> I may have known the group, I may be familiar with the group, but I may not have heard this particular album before. <clears throat> of course, you can't ever know 100% when you're starting this. You may put an album in and then you, you're listening to it and there may be a track on there that you've heard before but you didn't know was them. That I may let slide, depends on how much of that there is. There's only the one song on occasion that I may let it slide. If there's a couple songs or there's too many songs like that on different albums, I may not let it slide at all. I haven't decided yet. So that will come up in December. So it'll be kind of a, I don't think it'll be at least the favorite type of thing because I have never heard any of these albums before. Pretty hard to rank them. So it'll more, it, may, it may end up being uh, just random or it maybe end up being alphabetical or maybe it'll be based on the dates they were released like the time periods like maybe I'll start in the albums that I did in 1980 and then go up through 81 all the way up to the last one I'm not quite a hundred percent sure how I'm gonna uh, arrange that yet but we will be doing something like that the other thing about it is that it's only going to be on progressive rock albums it won't be on any other albums from any other genre. It'll be strictly progressive rock. There may be a few albums in there that uh, might be borderline. You know, may have some other elements in them, like there might be a metal, progressive metal album in there. There might be a progressive rock, maybe a little jazz fusion in there. There might be uh, something that's maybe mixed with some pop and stuff in there as well so <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure but I'm gonna try and stick to progressive albums as, as close to the line as I can and I'll have 31 of them of course because there's 31 days in December so we'll start with December 1st and go through to the last day of the year um, I haven't figured out exactly how I'm gonna title this yet but um, when it's ready we'll be letting you know it will start in December I've actually been working on it a bit. I think I have, let me see what my list, on the current list I have like the whole side of one paper. So it's like the 21 albums already. And there may be as many as 35 or 40 and I will just have to pare it down to the ones that I think fit the situation the best. I try to be a little bit more open to uh, stuff that, like I don't want to do a lot of stuff from one area and not much from the other areas and try to give some love to some other languages too. There's a few albums in there that are French, maybe an Italian one. There might be a German one in there, I'm not sure. Um, and so just trying to broaden it a bit because um, my goal with this particular project is to try and open the door for a lot of progressive rock that maybe I haven't exposed myself to before. You know, I've got you know a fair bit of groups now that I like quite a bit. There's about ten of them that are progressive rock, but I want to expand that because I want to do more progressive stuff on this, this channel, not, not less. You know, I've discovered over the first year and a half of this that my interest in metal is probably not what I thought it was. I thought I was a metal fan. I thought it was progressive rock, hard rock, and metal were my big three, and they probably still are, but I don't think the metal part is as big for me as I thought it was, so I want to fill some of that area more with um, progressive rock because that's where that's where my real love is. I like hard rock quite a bit, though. It was not a surprise to me that I liked it that much. And then there's, of course, other areas like blues and pop, uh, pop metal, pop, pop, uh, pop rock. There's some areas in that area that I like quite a bit too, as well as some kind of vocalized 
kind of 50 style stuff too, the rockabilly and that, that I've uh, discovered that I like more than I thought as well. But we're going to probably try and stick with a lot of progressive stuff because I think that's where my interest greatly lies. It's kind of like in a star map, there's like 70% of the stars out there are, are um, red dwarf stars so 70 percent of my progressive of my music is probably progressive it's a kind of the same scenario so anyways i hope that uh helps people to see where we might be going this week and i hope you enjoyed this episode of this week and we'll be getting to those videos very soon <clears throat> and you have yourself a great day please like and subscribe it's much appreciated and we'll be back tomorrow with yet another video well actually we'll be back tonight with another video take care Bye.